evening, everybody. Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and welcome to the Mexico City Plaza here in Mexico City for tonight's main event. Scheduled for 12 rounds in the flyweight division. And now the time has come. All the talk, now comes the walk. Okay, guys, we went over the rules in the dressing room. Let's touch gloves. The opening bell of this scheduled 12 rounder here. A much anticipated fight. Round one underway. We are underway here, and we've heard from everybody that speed is going to be the big factor. Martinez has got it. Plenty of it. Yeah, now it's up to his opponent to come up with something. Maybe go to the body, take it away, slow him down. Blocked by El Terrible. Finish with a hook. A headshot blocked. Oh, he is stunned. He could go down. Okay, get your hands up. Boy, he was damaged, but now he's defending himself well. Unable to make an impact there by Martinez. Halfway through round number one. Big right hand there. You're doing fine. You're okay. Move out of there. He got to him, and now he's looking for more. El Terrible is just creating some separation to land another power shot. Yeah, what he's looking like is your uncle. Remember when you were a kid, your uncle used to put his hand on your forehead, push it back a little bit, and you couldn't hit him, but he I hated hit him. that. Uh -huh. Well, he hates you, too. Very nice work to the head. The right hand Watch landed. That. He had his eyes set on the uppercut, but was unable to land it. Final 10 seconds of round number one. El Terrible has got to feel good about himself. Keep working, up. Keep working the jab, okay? Nice. I'm relaxed. You're in control, all right? Got that? You're in control. So, take your time. Nice and relaxed. Considering the fact that in the last round, he got tagged hard, he looks great right now to open up this round. Well, I'm not shocked because I think he has character. I think there's substance to him. And the only way that you find the metal of a person is when you test him, when you push him up against the cliff. And he's being tested now, and he's showing what he's made of. That uppercut absolutely rocked him. Well, I don't like the way his legs look at all right now. 
<gasps> There's the headshot, but he parries it away. The last thing either guy wants to be here, Teddy, is one-dimensional. The last thing you want to be in anything to be successful is one-dimensional. I mean, if you're a comedian, you don't want to be saying the same jokes all the time. Your crowd's not going to be there. Well, your opponent is going to be there all night long if you do the same thing. Well, you could see what he wanted to do there, but unable to land that body shot. the halfway mark of this round. Not what he was looking for. That's a miss right there by Martinez. El Terrible's defense. Is it ever good? Look at how easy he's able to block those punches. Went to the body there, but unable to connect. Watch the hook! Able to block that away, it was targeted for his head. <laughs> he just missed that shot up top. Just 10 seconds to go here in the second round. This round comes to an end, and Teddy, easy to note here that he wasn't landing a lot of punches. Now he was throwing them up, but he wasn't landing a lot. Is that because of his opponent's defense, or is he just not that accurate of a puncher? No, it's a combination. First of all, his opponent's pretty slick in there, pretty good at bobbing, weaving a little bit, slipping a little bit, making himself a difficult target, but his punch is a little wide. Needs to shorten him up. Relax. Relax. Are you all right? I need you to keep your hands up. Keep your hands up. Don't worry now, all right? I just I need you to focus. Keep your hands up. It's like a whole new fighter out there. Look at him as we start this round. Remember what happened to him in the last round. Now he's up on his toes. Yeah, well, remember what happened to him in the last round. That's what we say, but he doesn't say that. He's putting that out. He's putting it into the rear view mirror. He's going forward down the road with a lot of hope. A lot of vigor, a lot of confidence. And he's holding. El Terrible's knowledge of the game is showing through. Three ways to defend, one of them is to block. He did it there well. Blocks it away. Missed the target with that hook. Pulls the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. Didn't get it done going to the body there. Relax, relax. Coming to the halfway point of this third round. <laughs> El 
Terribles. Rushed by a big right hand. Stay with him. Stay with him. Wow, I like what he's doing right here, Teddy. He's just taking control of this fight. Hurt his opponent already. Now he's pushing him around, trying to get another shot in. Yeah, he wants to get full leverage. He wants to get him right in a position where he can nail him a shot and finish this. El Terrible's punch didn't come close. Pace yourself. Comes right back with a shot of his own. Body shot, body shot. Way to block there. El Terrible is keeping his guard up very, very well. Teddy, does it help to have the speed that he has? Uh, sure. Anytime you have speed and, right, and you and can right. put it into the equation where whatever you're doing, it has to be technically right, but now you put speed, you're doing it even better. You're doing it at a higher level. Seconds to go in this round. Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. And the bell rings, signifying the end of the round. All right, listen. You need to create more punches, okay? Slip his punch and throw a straight right down the middle. Listen, oh, he reaches in, let that right hand go. Right, let that right hand go. You don't go. need that, no. throw that away. El Terrible is out in front as we take a look at Teddy's scorecard for the first time tonight. But they're still in a mode of just feeling each other out. Neither man has taken control of this bout so far. If there was a baseball umpire around, he'd call that a strikeout by El Terrible. Nice block by Martinez. Uppercut! Seconds to go in round number four. El Terrible is buying himself some time. He was stunned earlier, now another clinch. And he's diffusing himself right now by doing that clinching. And his opponent is taking advantage. and was off the mark.
he just looks exhausted to me right now. Martinez's accuracy is non-existent. This guy cannot punch a solid target right now. No, but what this shows, he's missing so many shots. We always think about the damage done when they land. This is showing you the damage that's done when they miss. You get discouraged. You start giving in. All right, come on, let's finish this. Keep going, just keep going. You're doing great, but let's keep working out there. Back to live action now in what has been a closely contested fight. One of those fights that somebody is still waiting to break through and be a difference maker in. Eddie, there are opportunities that are here for him, aren't there? Yeah, counterpunch opportunities because he's got an opponent who's walking in a little bit. Now he has a chance to start to chuck something back at him a little. the straight right hand but didn't score with it <laughs> Martinez is ruined with that punch right there you're okay stay with me here <laughs> Still plenty of time to work here in round number five. Minute and a half to go. Keep going. Not able to land the uppercut. And just like that, things turn around. A back and forth round. Both men have been rocked. This is what boxing's about. This is what battle is about. This is what human spirit is all about. Really on the mark with that over-the-top shot with the right hand. And he just holds on there. El Terrible's throwing lots of punches, and not many are landing. But what's that old saying? Hey, you put enough out there, something's going to stick. Well, at least he's controlling the rhythm. He's keeping control of the pace right now. And at least when you're throwing, your opponent, for the most part, he's being handcuffed a little bit. <laughs> Ten clicks of the talk. How about that? What a round we just saw. Both men were able to get to the other. Both men seemingly hurt in that round. And the kind of round where a judge really has to do his job. Everyone else does their job. Trainers, managers, we're trying to do ours. But now it's up to the judges to really look at that and find where they can separate the two fighters. Okay, listen. When he misses you with a punch, counter, counter. Okay, listen. I want to see that straight right. Throw the jab and then straight down the middle. You got that? Jab, jab, right. Back to action here at the start of this round, which is just part of what has been a very evenly fought fight. One of those fights that's going to be very hard to score. That was a miss by Martinez. Double up on your punches. Turns over that hook 
and he does damage upstairs. El Terrible's got to be careful here, Teddy, because he can't stay like this. Yes, he's throwing punches, but not being effective at all. No, he's not. He's not landing. And that's bad for the score. Oh, and he got caught right there. Everything was going fine, and then he got caught. Well, that's the problem. It was going too fine. He got a full sense of security. The other guy wasn't throwing back. He took for granted, and bang, you can't take for granted in this ring. Now hugging on the inside. Halfway through this round here. Trying to go downstairs, but off target. And now looking to hang on. Ties up there. One, two. One, two. Martinez is crushed by a right One, hand. El Terrible is always gaining momentum and starting to pour it on. Return to sender. He gives him back one of his own. You got Ten it. seconds yeah. remaining in this round. Really fun-looking fight so far here. We've reached the halfway mark. Teddy, your impressions as to what we're going to see in the second half of this fight? More of the same. I don't think these fighters know how to do anything, at least tonight. They came here with this mentality, and you know what? You can't really change gears at this point. You're going to see more of the same. You good? All right? Breathe for me. Good. Now listen, you threw a wide punch out there, and he caught you. Tighten up your punch. He seems fully recovered to me. Here we are, the start of a new round, and a fighter that got tagged hard in the last round seems as fresh as could be. Well, when you push a fighter, when you push a human being to a dark place, that's when you're gonna find out what's bright inside of them, what's great inside of them, and he's responding just that way. to improve the accuracy a little bit. That was comical by Martinez. <laughs> he took a shot, but he gives one of his own. A left hand scores. You see him holding on. Smooth work by Martinez. That's classic counterpunching. Yeah, what he did was he pulled that right shoulder back. You know, he just pulled it back, gave him the left shoulder, and then gave him the right hand. And just grabbing on to his opponent. <laughs> At the halfway point of round seven. Oh, keep your feet moving. Well, that was his intention, and that's what he's doing, not engaging. He is not in good shape. He could be on the deck in moments. <sighs> Somehow, he's avoiding going down here. All of a sudden, some good defense, after a lack of it, cost him. <sighs> oh, and there you go. Oh, he's got to beat 
the count of ten here. some way he's gonna continue on here and if he's gonna stay in this fight now he's got to avoid his opponent like the black plague <laughs> unable to score with the hook Martinez is just punching air that time. His opponent was able to get out of the way. Ten seconds to go in the seventh. And the round comes to an end. Deep breath. Deep breath. Get some water in. You're good. You all right? You're okay, right? You need to capitalize on his mistakes. I want to see it. that counter hook. Make him pay for his mistakes. You have to start throwing more in volume in there. You know, they call them the championship rounds for a reason, and we're not quite there yet. Just about halfway through this fight. Here, round number eight underway, and he's up on your scorecard, Teddy, but the toughest test is yet to come. Yeah, it's kind of like a doctor. You know, he's been working the rounds all day long, but now it becomes the night time. You know, the emergency cases are gonna come in and stuff. Can he keep that concentration? Can he take care of the patients at the same level he did early in the day? El Terrible's recuperative abilities being tested to the limit here. Just 60 seconds to gather yourself after being knocked down in the last round. Now, we talk about the fighter, but it's important right now for the corner, for the referee, for the doctor to know that he does have those kind of recuperative powers. So they give him the benefit of the doubt. Maybe the ref gives him a little more time than he gives somebody else. into offense. He blocks the shot, comes right back with one of his own. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. The halfway point of round number eight. That's a big right hand. He's actually making a smart move here. He knows he needs some space, so he's pushing his man away. Good defensive skill. Martinez is really impressing us here. Defensively impressing us. I mean, it's so easy to say, wow, look at the punching, look at the power. But, Teddy, you got to appreciate what he's doing with defense. Yeah, well, that's one of the reasons why you can say that you appreciate, you know, the aggression or the power and all these things. He can afford to be aggressive because he doesn't get hit. the knockdown he got a little careless a little lazy
The ref is stopping this fight. Martinez is unable to continue. This fight is over. Knockout. So he's unable to recover from that one clean shot. This bout ends by way of knockout. You know, obviously I'm not in his body, so you never know what's really going on. But I just was wondering a little bit, could he have gotten up? For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Have yourself a great night.